All right, what's going on, y'all? We're gonna be doing a little bit of an install here today, so I gotta first give a huge shout out to Harry up there at Motor Dynamic and the whole crew at Motor Dynamic. What they did is, when I bought a brand new Honda Grom last week, I contacted Motor Dynamic and I said, look, you guys don't have a 2018s up yet for sale. Where can I get it? Do you guys have one? Because I actually did the full install video on my Kawasaki ZX6R, and oh my gosh, do people love it. They think it is so sexy, the integrated tail light, turning system and the nice clean fender kit. They asked me where did I get it from and I always tell them Motor Dynamics. So I, guys, I have that install video for the ZX6R. And so I wrote him and I was like, well, where do I buy my own? And he said, well, we know you. How about we go ahead and send you a demo kit so we're actually trying it out here because the 2018 is a little bit different than the previous years and we'll send it to you. So let me first give a shout out to Harry. Thank you very much, Motor Dynamics, the whole team for making a sexy install kit. So what we're going to do today is to have two separate videos. We're going to have one where we're going to be dumping off the fender here. The other one we're going to be installing the integrated tail light. So that way if somebody only buys this, they'll understand the way they're doing it or only buys this. But I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys always buy both. They work perfect together. It's a super clean, super easy install. You should be done with it in 20, 30 minutes. Very, very max, let's just say, to get this done. So we'll stay, hang in here with me. We'll go ahead and tear it all down, put the stuff in, get rid of this nasty fender, get rid of the nasty tail light, and we go ahead and make everything a lot sexier. So here we go. Thanks again, guys. Ooh, I don't know if you guys are gonna see it. This inside is clean. I mean, this is brand new. This is one week old bike straight off the showroom floor. You guys got to see all the actually buying it, and installing it and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, like I said, the back and stuff. If this is anything like my ZX6R, you're gonna have to take off these four bolts right here, which will drop the actual fender out pretty easy. You'll actually have to unclip this right here for the power end of it. And if you wanna have the lights and stuff off, you'll have to take off the back. This should no, take no more than 20 minutes max to get this done. Let's go ahead and get into it. Woo, she's a pretty girl still. All right, so here we go. These are the four bolts that we should be having to actually unpull to drop the fender uh, off. So just letting you guys know, I will of course update you in case things different, but I'm going with just common knowledge of what I had to do for my ZX6R. I will let you know I already tested it out. It's a 12 millimeter bolt, not a 10 millimeter. And we'll just be unloosing up all these right through here and then coming from there. So here we go. Let's go ahead and loosen it up. Everything's tight, brand new from the factory. I mean, this is suckers. It's clean in here, clean in here. So. Go ahead and take all these, drop these four, and then move on from there, so here we go. All right guys, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and show you the second part. After you do those four bolts, I was right, it falls off. Pro tip here, because this is a bad Honda design, my screw just fell in, the, in down here in the tube, so now I'm gonna have to lift up the screw out, because I, I had uh, I screwed it, and it just fell back in there as soon as it came loose, and I was like, oh crap, so. That's just a pro tip there. But after you get that off, the actual fender, of course, like I knew it would, just falls straight off, okay? The one thing you're gonna have to do though is somehow you're gonna have to unhook this. So what I did, just giving you guys a heads up, I'm probably doing this back ass words compared to everybody else, but I loosen this up, this is where the cord runs, it comes out here, it comes through down here, and it plugs in right here, okay? So I just loosened up both of these connectors that hold it, and just right, real quick, these are the parts that are gonna be on there that you're gonna have to actually mount. So you have the motor dynamic, actually the license plate holder, these are actually pretty good metal pieces of metal. So one thing that uh, I want to make sure to show you guys, when you install it, put the actual pointy areas in because there's actually grooves right here which it actually slots into, okay? So you'll be putting it in just like that. You see that, guys? I want to try and show you so you guys have an idea because you don't want to be guessing like I did. And then you can actually see where the screw holes line up. This will go up into here and then lines up with the ones on the bottom. So this is basically what it's going to be looking like when you're done. And then you just got to put the screw holes in back from the bottom, put your nuts and washer on top. But first thing we wanna do is go ahead and wire the actual light that's actually for the license plate light. So we gotta make sure we did that. I remember when my ZX6R, I did that afterwards like a dummy. So I'm telling you now, install the actual license plate light. It's here, right here. Cause we're gonna wire it through right now and then you just screw it on back. So just letting you guys know that's what I'm gonna do next. And then we're just gonna lock it on and we're done. It's just that easy, but I wanna show you guys exactly what you're looking for. Pointing end in, it goes into the slots, goes up. And then this, as you can see, winds up here, and then it goes up on behind the light like that. You're done, simple as that. So we're almost done. Give me two more minutes, be done. Now, before I get too far along, I wanted to go ahead and show you the final results of the actual Fender Eliminator kit. As you can see, it is completely cleaned up. It is nice, it is smooth. If you did not buy the actual integrated tail light, which I will set, uh, install a separate video, this is where you could actually install the actual ear like lights to it with these. But I do not need it because I am buying, I already have, it's right here. 
the integrated tail light, which will be smoked out, which will be taking the place of this. That's why I don't want to go a little bit further or anything like that until this is fully installed. But there you go, there's a nice clean setup, super easy to do. The only thing I, I guess I would say that if I had a question on would be that I did not know until the end that you have to use Allen wrenches to hold this while you actually screw it down with. I just wish it was actually just a regular screw hook, the uh, screwdriver, but hey, that's just really being picky, but excellent, excellent quality. It's actually metal, no cheap junk or anything like that. And this has lasted me for a couple years on my ZX6R. That's why I was so happy when, uh, uh, to write them right away and ask them, hey, where can I buy the 2018 version? They said, hey, we got a brand new one coming out for 2018. Would you demo it for us? So there you go. It's all done. The light lights, nice little LED light up. Make sure this is pointed down when you screw it in. I've seen these a lot before where they're actually, the actual lights are actually facing up. So make sure you check that out when you do it. But other than that, solid, solid construction here. No cheap plastic garbage. I mean, look, we're shaking the entire bike. There you go. Thank you very much, uh, Harry up there. Thank you very much, Motor Dynamic, for making another quality, solid product here. And uh, if you stay, if you want, stay tuned. There'll be a part two where we actually install the integrated taillight, hook it all up, and I'll show you the final results. So there you go. Thanks again, Motor Dynamic. Great product.